Rodrigo, how do you uh, think camp's gone three days in? Uh, well, it's early. We're just trying to, you know, kind of get our bearings, uh, get used to as far as, you know, the specialists, just kind of get back in the groove. We've all been kind of training on our own for the most part throughout the summer, so we're just kind of trying to get back in the groove and start to gel and mesh and, uh, you know, get really clean and crisp with the operations. Uh, we're starting to install all of our, you know, big phases, our big four with our special teams, punt, punt return, kickoff, kick return. We're installing all those units, so we're just trying to make sure that everybody is, you know, ready to go. Uh, get as many guys, as many reps as possible, and start to build out our depth chart, and uh, you know, just kind of get into the competition. What was your reaction when they when they brought in? Teddy? Well, uh, you know, it's a business, and there's a there's no shortage of competition in the NFL. You know, there's competition at every position, not just a kicker. There's competition at every position on this team, and at pretty much every team across the league. You know, there's going to be competition, and guys are going to be competing for jobs because there's a limited number of spots. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I. You know, had to expect it, had to be ready for just about anything. Um, and now I'm, you know, just going to try and compete and, and try and be the best version of myself that I can be every single day that we're here. Do you feel more confidence that you've won one of these like you, I'll, I'll come back. Did, did you feel like you did enough as a rookie, though, to solidify that where you didn't have to worry about your job? Uh, I feel like unless you're making every single one of your kicks, you're never doing enough. I feel like there's always going to be room to improve. And, you know, I, I feel like uh, Mr. Ballard, you know, has, has gotten this organization in a really great position where they're going to be competing for, you know, conference championships, competing to go to the Super Bowl, you know, almost every year. I feel like this team is going to have a legitimate chance to go a really long ways. And so you need to have excellence. You need to have the highest amount of performance out of every single position across the board. So, um, you know, I feel like if this team is going to go where they need to go, then, uh, you know, my performance needs to step up uh, compared to last year. So I uh, definitely feel like I could have done more, and hopefully I can – uh, prove that and be able to show that this year. Did give you confidence that you won one of these competitions last year? Um, well, I mean, if I learned anything from my time at the University of Georgia with Coach Smart, it's that um, competition is going to bring out the best in everybody. Um, I had to win two kicking competitions when I was at the University of Georgia in 2016 and 2017. I was in competition with other kickers. Um, so last year wasn't the first time that I had been in that situation. Um, so I think that, you know, that definitely. Uh, does help me to have a little bit of experience and to just know a little bit going in, kind of what to expect and just, you know, where, where your uh, your head is going to be at mentally when you go into it every single day. Um, but, you know, it's just uh, I just have to come out and be the best that I can be. There's I can't control what anybody else does. All I can control is trying to make as many kicks as I can. Right. Uh, Bubba mentioned that you, you worked on your body a lot this offseason that he, he thought that that would – uh, make a difference, whether in terms of power or whatever it might be. Have, have you seen that manifest itself yet? Um, a lot of my teammates have made comments that they think I look a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. Um, just in the last couple of days we've been here, I've had a lot of people say that, some players, uh, Coach Bubba, obviously, Quentin Nelson told me like before walkthrough, he was like, Rod, you're looking bigger, man. You've been lifting weights. I was like, that's what people are saying. I don't know. I mean, I've been... You know, I've been lifting whatever it is four or five times a week over the off season, so it, it may not be as noticeable for me because it's me and I'm doing it every single day. But I guess when you leave for a few months and you know somebody comes back and sees you for the first time in a few months, maybe it's a little more noticeable. But I feel like I really was getting after it in the weight room this year. Um, you know, obviously last summer was a little bit difficult to get access to gyms because it hit right in the peak of COVID and you know gyms everywhere were were shut down, so it was a little bit harder to get access to. Um, you know, to weight training consistently, but uh, definitely been a little bit easier this summer to make sure that I have access to a weight room where I can really get after it. And I'm hoping that that can translate into, you know, being able to make bigger kicks, get more hang time on kickoffs, you know, do all the things, you know, better that I want to do this year. Do you weigh more? I do weigh a little bit more. I think I'm about four pounds up from last year. I was pretty consistently around like 187, 188 last year, and I'm about 192 so far, first few days of camp. When you max out the leg, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I, I was able to, you know, go a little bit longer um, in most of my workouts during the summer, able to, to make longer field goals more consistently. And, you know, even when you have a little bit of a miss hit, you know, some of those miss hits are still carrying from a little bit further out. So uh, I feel like I am seeing some progress and I just have to continue to work and continue to grind this season. Ron, is there a the misses you have back here? Is there one that bothers you the most? Or do they all just hurt the same? <laughs> um, I mean, they, they all hurt. Uh, equally for me, but 
I know in terms of the repercussions that they have for our team and different situations in the game, there is uh, one that I guess sticks out to me a little bit was the one that we had against Buffalo last year. Um, that's definitely a kick that I would, I mean, obviously, whenever a kicker misses a field goal or any extra point, we always want to have it back, you know, because we, we know we have the talent and the ability to make it. Um, but that's just where you have to learn from it. You know, I definitely would have liked to have that one in particular back because, you know, I feel like we have a really good team and, you know, if that had gone differently, maybe the rest of the game would have gone differently. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I can't change it now. I can only just learn from it and work forward uh, with this season and, you know, try to make a few more than I did last year. You mentioned maxed out. Can you tell us how far that is? Uh, I mean, off sticks, like 65, 66. Uh, I got like one workout in with, uh, with Luke and Rigo before uh, before camp, like they had just gotten back into town and we got to go out once before camp started and I made 63 with their operation and then we went back to 66 and I hit the crossbar about two or three yards up. So, um, you know, I'm making good contact. I just have to make sure I'm hitting them straight and high.